Right, to create a new scenario and also a consist to go with it, what we'll do is we go to, we're already on scenarios here, we click on scenarios on here. And you say whichever one you want, whether it's a timetable scenario, standard, I'm going to go free roam. You mark that down there. Do you want to save it? Yes. So we've saved this scenario. Turn that one off. Double click this and you can call this scenario whatever you want. We'll call it Tester, just for you. Tester 1. Supply a description. Tester 1. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my name. And the briefing, which is Tester 1. Again, you can set your times and your dates for whenever you did it. You know. I'll set it for 2010. How's that? 2010. There you go, look. You can set your weather, heavy fog. That's because I downloaded that that fog one, <laughs> the soup on the pea super. And you can select all that if you wish. You can do all that. Now that scenario is actually named. So now we want to put a loco down here. Well, you're all asking how to make up a consist, so I'll show you. You don't need to lay the loco first. I will because it's easier for me. So we take our 47 and we put it on the track. Okay, there's your 47. I'm using this one, why not? Doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, so you've got your 47 and you plonked it on the track. You want it to haul something. We'll use uh, coaches this time. So you select your wagons and you find some coaches. We've got some blue mark one first and brakes. We'll put brake man in first. Okay. And then we'll mark, mark ones. We'll put some second class behind it. You need to turn around, obviously, if you can't see it. So I'll turn it around and we go one, two, three, four mark ones, second class. And at the other end, we'll put some first class. One, two. And there you have a train set. Now, you need to be able to make this train set work. So what we need to do is create the consist. Now to do that, you go to the top one, click on consist, and you get these lovely little grey cubes above the loco and also the wagon set. You double click on the cube and it comes up with a new consist. So we'll call this <coughs> XP47 plus mark ones. That's all we need to call it. And that then is saved as that. And if you look in your scenario, uh, in your consists file below, um, we look for XP, there it is, there's a light engine one, and now with the Mark 1s, which means you can go and put another logo set down if you want, exactly the same as the one you've already got when you get it on the way track. <laughs> I'll just show you how that's done. I've learned to do it afterwards. So then you put him on the track. So now you've got two sets of the same thing if you want it. You don't have to, of course, and you can undo that using the undo tool. Now to make this train actually work, and that's what I guess you want to do next, you've got to put a driver in it. Click on it. It doesn't always end up at the right end. If it doesn't, use the, uh, the orange triangles to change the direction of where you want the train to come from too. Dead easy. Now double click on the driver, and it's on the service. We'll call it XB47, because that's what it is. You can make it go somewhere if you've got markers on your line by clicking on the blue square. I haven't got any markers on here, so I can't set a destination. And besides, I want to drive it myself. Once you've done that, you save the scenario, and you end up with the class 47 sat there. No markers on it now because you're already in the scenario. You click on the locomotive, to go to the cab, and you can drive it. I'll accelerate for you. You don't have to do it from the cab, you can do it from outside if you wish, you can do it from the back coach if you wish. You'll slide down. There's your class 47 going. Accelerate a bit more. And it is really that simple. You go to 4, you can see it from miles away. To remove the XP47, press F6. Well, I hope that helps.
that's the easiest way to make a consist and to create a simple scenario where you're driving it's a bit more difficult when you go to make them A1s but it's still the same thing what you do is you ask it to, ask it to name the destination you set it to go to wherever you want and it becomes an A1 there you go I hope you enjoyed that